Hello and welcome back once again to some more digitization on this lovely Thursday morning. We, if you didn't catch last time's video, then uh, that one was live, but this one is not live at all. This one's recorded, guys, so you can see everything that I'm using and all the tools and everything in uh, the highest definition that I'm able to bring to you. And as always, guys, we're going to digitize this piece, which we've been doing uh, all week. As on a Monday, we sketch. On a Tuesday, we ink the drawing that uh, was sketched with pencil. And then on Wednesday, we'll colour that one in with either Copic markers, pencils, or whatever else I find around the house. But then we get to Thursday, and we uh, sort of ink again, if you like, where we overlap, overdraw the um, drawing that I did freehand over uh, on this app called Critter. It is completely free, guys. So if you would like a copy of yourself and have a uh, sort of a go with yourself, um, sort of with a mouse, or it will work with a Wacom. Uh, or digital tools like that. There are many different tools in this app, guys. It is again, again, Miller. It is completely free. If you guys would like to uh, check it out, you've got all the different tools in the bottom here and uh, the bottom right, which you can use. And uh, I will in the maybe not this video, but maybe the next video, I'll show you how to use all of those. But I have done that in the previous video of the Hulk if you guys want to go and check that out where you can see all the tools which tools I use for different pieces and uh, shading uh, textures for hair and loads of other different uh, techniques that you can use with these tools but today we're going to be just putting in the basic color like we always do and uh, getting that done uh, yesterday we did the outlining so if you want to go and check that out on how I did that then uh, definitely go and check that video out but today we've got something a little bit special because we're digitizing that means I can use my camera for something else instead of what I'm drawing in front of you because I usually use my uh, webcam to uh, go live and draw uh, uh, on the paper that I'm drawing with but because I'm using a uh, digital recording app I don't need to use my uh, uh, camera so you can see what I have been listening to on the very first video uh, of last week as uh, sorry not last week or the very first video for this week when I was sketching I uh, used a little bit of reference and that was from Alita the Battle Angel which is what this picture is um, again if you haven't already checked out that sketching video go and check that one out for just the sound if you just want the sound but watch this one if you want to watch the anime it is about uh, 40 or so minutes in total I think I think there's more to it but it is an anime so you never really know how long they're gonna be some animes you can get a whole story in 15 minutes uh, some animes you can get a whole story in an hour but uh, a lot of animes they keep it quite short this one is uh, fairly long um, it's got uh, like I said it's got about half an hour on this video uh, and then on the next one afterwards because it's two parts it is uh, it'll be um, another half an hour I think but uh, yeah together is about 60 minutes so that's about an hour um, so yeah, as long as I can get all of this done in an hour, the basic colour, then you can watch the whole thing. If I don't do that, what I'll do is I'll watch the first episode and then I'll put some music on and afterwards in the next video, like I have done in the previous videos. Uh, if there is any videos, I'm uh, sorry, if there's any music that you guys are creating and you want them played in my videos instead of uh, me having to sit here in silence, because I never do that, I, I either listen to somebody's music or I will uh, watch a... Um, another YouTube another youtuber sort of creating their uh, stuff as I go along I hate silence so I never ever let sit here in silence when I draw and hopefully you don't do that either and we will have something for me to do but uh, I'm gonna be doing coloring in for this while that is playing in the background so if uh, again if you've got any comments or if you've got anything you can still leave me a comment in the comment section down below but otherwise enjoy and uh, keep watching. So I'm going to be putting the basic colours in on this. Um, I will be using all of these tools down here and the colour pads that uh, you can't see because that's where the uh, camera is facing. Keep watching guys, enjoy and uh, I'll keep going. Guys, my name's Blute084, B-L-U-T-084, art and games, live nearly every day. 
on YouTube, occasionally on Mixer, but every day and night over on Instagram. Don't forget to follow and click the links to subscribe. Wait all the way to the end and you'll get some more links, otherwise check out the playlists. That is my reference, that's what I've been using for reference. I'm going to be using it to colour pick the clothing. That's got it. Look, she's coming out of torpor. Hello, my name is Ida. Do you have a name? My name. After all this time, she's not likely to remember much. I think I can restore most of it. You'll be keeping her then? Yeah, I think so.
Just watching your Lisa while I uh, do some colouring today. This is from this is well yeah this is from all week. I'm um, doing the digital version now, but uh, if you didn't check out the paper version, go and check it out, guys. Because uh, the digital version will be available very soon to watch. Over on YouTube. You ever live a gun something up here? Uh, hey, you look here like the doc, don't you? That's right. My name's Gally. Gally? That's a pretty strange name. You're just dumb. I think it's a pretty name. You're right. It suits you. By the way, my name is... It's Hugo, isn't it? Uh, you knew it already. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hugo? Huh? Do you have a family here? Nope. You think so? That's impressive. What is? Oh, come on. I'm talking about Zalem, of course. Oh, I see. Hey, why don't you come with me? Uh, to, to where? To a better place. Come on. <laughs> hey, Doc! I got it working now! Ito, the 
this is the last time I'll ask. Will you help me return? No. I see. I'm sorry. Pause that there. A second. Um, I tell you what, I just why I, why I just uh, deleted all of uh, what I just coloured in there. Uh, oh, it's different layers. As you can see here, the T-shirt's going to be. Uh, I'm going to move that layer actually. Move it underneath. And use the arms. So when uh, I probably should have done that actually. I don't know. We'll put that there. Uh, so we can't mess it up. Uh, we'll still use the same colour, but 
I made a bit of a boo boo when it came down to sort of doing this because I don't want it to overlap the I'm doing it again I don't want it to overlap the layer so if I was to do this I can then go underneath it if you see what I mean so the layers when I put them on they're in the wrong place but yeah what I should have done is the layers first I should have done the arm and then the t-shirt underneath but uh, done now I can't be asked to colour or hold t-shirt in again um, so layers underneath so hmm. that's an, I mean that with this piece here would be an underneath layer anyway and this would be an overtop layer um, so I suppose I could do that go to fingers and, uh, and then do that there an overlap layer but then it comes to shading it's not going to work so <clears throat> we'll keep it on the arms where it was hopefully it won't overlap anything that doesn't need or want overlapping still kind of learning what layers and how layers work on this because um, I'm, I'm dumb as f I'm a dumb dumb some things I work some things I don't technically that arm would do the arm underneath and not have to worry about anything then like that so if I did overlap it or underlap it you won't see it. Oh, will you not? See what I mean? So if I was to colour this, it won't work. But if I colour this, as you've seen, it did. I'm just gonna get rid of that in a minute. Oop. <laughs> And obviously she's got different arm colour to her actual s fake skin face because her arm, well in the movie she has anyway like the one we're watching now, she, I think she just wears gloves the whole thing don't really see much of her mech body that's all I can remember keep tuned to find out, same as I will <coughs> But yeah, I'm just doing the basic colours on her arms now. Uh, deleting bits that don't need to be there. And uh, but yeah, I wanted to have the arms on a different layer, just cause when it comes to shading and if I need to move them around, I can. I'm gonna press save a second. I'm gonna save that a second just in case the app's starting to freak out and it, before it's it's turned itself off and lost all everything that was done or previously done before the save it's always handy to save like any other program on the computer always save all right let's get back to what we were listening to watching and uh, I'll keep coloring him
don't want you soiling your perfect hands with blood. Do you think I'm some doll for you to play with? Ha 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 ha! 
can't be. Dorisca, I've come to pay you back. Baby. <laughs> that would be my dog. <clears throat>
Okay, that's our first episode done. No, no, I'm gonna actually put that on a different colour. Um, well, that's the first episode done, guys. Uh, give me a second. I'll queue up the next bit. I do guys uh, let's tell you what I'm uh, getting up to well what I've done so far guys as you can see I've got uh, the main layer for the uh, outlining so the overtop layers to show you where all the, the construction lines are and stuff like that uh, and then we've got the other layers underneath with the same same idea just construction lines so you can color them in uh, for that, for the background, I should probably put that as background actually. Uh, and then we have, we go into the layer where it's um, the t-shirt. Obviously, there's not much else to say other than it's a t-shirt. And then you've got your arm layer, which is underneath, and the main, what sort of base skin layer on top. I don't like that color of the skin, but it is a good base color, so I can use that as a shade in. I can shade in there, shade off this. Uh, I can shade a lot of different uh, different tones. Uh, therefore, uh, to change up things, um, I'm going to do the mouth in a second. I'll do the eyes as well, and maybe give it a background. Again, this we're just doing the basic color today, and we'll come back on another video to shade that in. Possibly uh, tomorrow I'll get that one done, but uh, I've got a limited amount of time today, so I'm going to get as much of this done as possible. But as it's recorded, uh, you guys can watch this, and uh, you can fast forward at any time. So you can get to the end if you just want to see the end, or if you are enjoying watching the uh, uh, Battle Angel Alita episode one, then we're going to be doing episode two. Uh, it is the final. Uh, it, apparently, like I said, it's the final. I've only ever found two episodes. Uh, they're always the same episodes. Uh, the rest, of what I might listen to, is just like music, because I got a feeling I'm going to get this done, this finished as that e the episode ends so keep watching guys for that episode and uh, enjoy while I color this in and they're uh, coming back for the next bit episode where I'll do some shading but uh, let's get on with the finish off the coloring in of the digital version of this week Alita Battle Angel we got it let's get out of here yeah so boys how's business mm hmm Mr. Vector. Mm. Oh. Please, please help me. <coughs> you didn't have to kill him. If you keep leaving live witnesses, you won't last long. Come, I want to talk with you. Now, 
Now, seeing as I'm in a position to oversee those exports, why shouldn't I share in the benefits? Say, Hugo, why don't you join my operation? But I want, I want to go to Zalom. Zalom? Are you out of your mind? Do you really want to be homeless and friendless in a place like Zalom? Trust me, you wouldn't like it. On the other hand, by helping me deliver my shipments to Zalom, you could achieve real wealth and power. You could live in the lap of luxury, just like the citizens of Zalom. Think it over, Hugo.
time to rebuild Zeriki again. Dr. Sharin, that's your department. Why should I even bother? I've used everything. All my tricks and techniques. I can't win. What was that? So, when am I going to go to Zalem? Hey, 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 take a look at the number of bounties this kid has collected. Her name's Galley. This could be a hot ticket. A female gladiator. Hey, wait a minute. This is the girl from Hugo's place. Uh, Ido's galley? Hmm, you mean you know her? Oh, it's like that, is it? Now, <laughs> wait a second. You want galley to fight in the Colosseum? Absolutely. <laughs> It'll be a smash. We could call her the Battle Angel. You don't really think galley will fight for you? Of course she will. She'll do anything I ask to keep her boyfriend from losing his head. Doctor, I want you to find Galley. Why should I? Do this for me. <laughs> and then I'll send you to Zala. Fourteen bodies in seven days? What's with the sudden mercenary zeal? Galley, when you became a hunter warrior, you said it wasn't for the money. That was before. I'm saving so I can go to Zala with you, go. Golly, who said that you could go to Zala? Mm -hmm. uh, have you told him how you feel? Well, no. And how does Hugo feel about you? Well, uh... <laughs> Amazing. Such depth and now of for feeling. the latest bounty list mm -hmm. bulletin. Number seven, <gasps> Hugo. Wanted for spine theft and murder. Bounty, 80,000 kids. Hugo? Repeat, number seven, it's Hugo. Wanted. wanted for spine theft and murder. No! Bounty, Get <laughs> and 
time, are we? But the basic, everything's How basic on it, you know what I'm doing, guys. I'm doing the uh, hair colour now.
this desperate effort can delay me forever? Just 
Climb down on the dune. This is a restricted area. Please keep out. What's that ring for? It's a defense ring. Against rodents and other vermin. Volum drops them periodically to keep rats from climbing the tubes. Okay, all right, let's pause that again because we have reached the end and the final of the animated series of Alita Battle Angel. And that can, brings me to the end of the basic coloring of my own Alita. Hopefully you have enjoyed it today, guys, and don't forget to hit subscribe for more. And I will be back next time to uh, shade it in. Let's, oh, I shouldn't move that one. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of that now. We don't need that. So let's uh, minimise and chuck that out of the way, and show you what I've actually done. We will be back next time to do some, like I said, shading. Uh, we'll put in some shades in here. We'll be uh, adding some more textures to the hair, and add a, oh there, and also, mm, and also adding some uh, detail to the piping here as well for the uh, hands that are attacking Alita. If you have seen the film you'll know which piece this is but just a quick uh, reference to the what I'm using as a reference sorry that is my reference picture and that is what I've drawn guys. I know I'm not great if it's not the best but uh, keep trying and you will get better. I I keep trying and hopefully I'm getting better. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Scroll all the way to the bottom to leave me a comment. Otherwise, just before that is a subscribe button or hit the circle that will appear at the end of the stream. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you tomorrow for some more art and games. Click the links that will appear. Otherwise, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.
follow me on Instagram blute084 blut084 bye bye for now